Hello, friends. Do you know what this is? If you said it's a top, you're right. It's a special kind of top called a dreidel, and people play with them during the holiday of Hanukkah. When I was little, my brother and I would sit on the kitchen floor with as many dreidels as we could get our hands on and try and keep them all spinning, make sure none of them fell over. It's a little panicky. Ah. Anyway, today, we're going to learn how to make pops with some of the things that you probably have in your house. Get ready. Ah. We're going to make two kinds of tops today. This is the first one. Here's the materials you'll need for this top. You'll need some thin cardboard, like the kind you get from a cereal box, toothpicks, markers if you want to decorate your top, scissors, something to poke a hole through the cardboard. I'm going to use this little tiny screwdriver on my pocket knife, but you could also use a pencil or a regular screwdriver, or maybe you could even sacrifice a toothpick. And unless you're really good at drawing a perfect circle, I'm not, you'll need something to trace a circle with. This Dixie cup is a good size. So start by tracing and cutting your circle. Then, poke a little hole in the center. If you want to be really exact, you can get a ruler and measure to find out where the exact center of your circle is. I'm going to live life on the edge and just try and eyeball it a little bit. Poke your toothpick through, and there you are. Now spinning this top can be a little tricky. You might want to play around with where on the toothpick your circle is. Is it easier if it's way up here or way down here, somewhere in the middle? You might also want to play around with the way that you spin it. Let's see if I can do it. There we go. And of course, if you want to decorate the top of your top, you can. Other things you can play around with are the shape. Does it have to be a circle? What if you made a top that was a triangle or a square? If you make a simple top, please send us a video of you getting it to spin, especially if you tried some different designs. Now let's do top number two. Here's the materials you'll need. You'll need heavy paper plates, not the really thin kind. Binder clips. A pencil. And again, something to poke a hole through the paper plate with. The first thing you'll need to do is figure out where is the center of the paper plate. There's a pretty simple trick you can do to do that, and I'll show you that in a minute. Let's just put on some music while you think about it. Did you come up with a technique? Maybe yours will work awesome. I'm going to show you what I do. It's tricky. Take your pencil and your plate and try and balance your plate on the tip of your pencil. Now I made a mark with the pencil, and I'm going to poke my hole right there.
put your pencil through the hole. And then decide where you want to put it to start. And use a couple binder clips, one on the top and one on the bottom, to hold it in place. Otherwise, the plate will just slide around on the pencil. And that doesn't make for a very good top. There you go. Now I'm going to demonstrate with this one that I made earlier because I know I got it to work. You might want to try spinning your top on a piece of paper because that way the pencil won't leave marks all over the floor and you'll be able to see the marks on the paper that show you where your pencil travels. It takes a little practice to get this top to work, but there's lots of other things you can experiment with. Again, you can try moving the plate up and down on the pencil. If a top isn't heavy enough, it won't spin, because it'll be just like you're trying to spin only the pencil, and that's really hard. So you can add a little weight to your top by maybe adding a second paper plate, or a third, or a fourth, or a fifth paper plate. You can also try putting binder clips on the edges of your plate. See if that helps things spin better. I find that this technique of spinning works pretty well. Rolling it through your hands. But you just keep trying it out and see what you get. And of course again, like the other top, if you want to, you can decorate your plate with markers or crayons. Thanks for joining me to make tops today. I hope you had fun. If you want to explore more top making, check out this video from our Created by Festival. Go to createdbyfestival.org and search for top. And as always, keep checking back here on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube for more activities that you can try at home. Oh no! Uh, see you next time.